Hey guys, it's you. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today we've got Buy Keeper Sell 2013 All Star Batters Edition. Uh, like I said in yesterday's video, this is the last one I'm going to be doing for a while until there's a new promo. Like, uh, I mean, season best, there's just too many cards to go through. And honestly, at this point, most of them. Only have value if you're trying to build a budget squad, and New England has done a budget series. So if you're looking for something like that, check them out. New England IV, or New England Fort, but just so you type it in, it's New England, and then IV is in the Roman numeral for four. Anyways, into the video. We'll start with Miguel Cabrera, 86 overall, third baseman, defense and with field and throwing both in the low 80s, that hitting 93, 90, 95, 94. Uh, I mean, I've got Nolan Arenado, and I'm pretty happy with that card, but man, this Miguel Cabrera card is insane. Uh, so if you're looking for someone to buy, I would not fault you in the least bit for buying it. Next up, Paul Goldschmidt. This card respects him. In the way, I believe it was his 2014 or 2015 All-Star was completely disrespectful to him. 88, 90, 88 on the lefty, righty power spectrum. 89 fielding. And look, you don't need an arm at first base most of the time. So I, I could get down with buying him. If, honestly, 56 mil in the marketplace where it's unlimited seasons build your points. That's not a bad price at all. Dustin Pedroia, a lefty raker. Um, not a bad card. Personally, I would sell him because I'd want to save up for that Jose Altuve. But if you kept him, I wouldn't fault you. If you're a Red Sox fan and you bought him, I wouldn't fault you either. Next up, Andrew McCutcheon. Man, like, he's a solid center field defender, but this is... This just doesn't feel like an 86 overall to me. So I, I honestly would sell him just because there's nothing on this card I like. His contact split, his contact's not great, his power's not great, his running's decent but not great, and his defense is good, but it's not, it's not like mind blowing. Next up, 82 Robbie Cano. I feel like this card is better than the Pedroia. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit less. I had a little bit less run or speed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had to sneeze. Defense is slightly worse, but man. I don't know. Those hitting stats to me are better. And yeah, I'd buy, I'd sell Pedro to buy Cano even. Uh, this Kipnis... It was kind of a knockoff of those two guys. I could buy him because he does have speed. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the second baseman in 2013 just aren't the best hitters. So, you know, a lot of opinionated stuff. This Alex Gordon, defense is solid but not great, and he can only hit lefties while I would sell him. Adam Jones, decently rounded. See, I, w I would buy him over McCutcheon. Save your coins. Uh, but even so, I would still sell Jones. Manny Machado, I would sell because I know there's better third baseman out there. And if you can get, like, 25 mil for him. J.J. Hardy. This is actually not a bad shortstop. I just feel like you can get a Led Me Stias cheaper. Uh, so that's why I'm saying sell. Like, if I'm saying sell, it's because of the price point and it. I'm not 100% right. I'm just trying to give my input. This Mike Trout, it's the weakest of his All-Stars. Um, it's still really not a bad card. If you want to cheat Mike Trout, buy him for like 25 mil. That's such a good deal. And he's, let's see, he can run. Okay, he's got a noodle arm, but if you can put up with a noodle arm in center field, get him. Gene Segura, 24 mil at shortstop. This guy, okay, this is a really nice card. The 84 contacts, 92 speed, and he can defend. 
I'm adding him to my favorites. Straight up. You saw it there right now. Carlos Gonzalez, left fielder. 17 mil currently. That's just too bland for me. I would sell him and get a left fielder that can do something well. Although I will say, 78 fielding, 80 throwing, not bad. If you want a defensive left fielder who's rounded otherwise. You got Matt Carpenter. I would sell this Matt Carpenter because he can only hit righties. Uh, and he can field, but he can't throw. Which kind of negates his value at other positions. David Wright, 78. At that price point, I'm selling and investing in a better third baseman. Joey Votto, first baseman. Great contact hitter. Solid defense. And that's a cheap price point. For 15 mil, I, I could buy him. Bryce Harper, 13.8 mil, but this is just a really ugly card. I think it was his rookie year, or maybe his second year. I really should know better, but, you know, like, I don't know. I, personally, I kind of like Bryce Harper. Like, I, I don't like everything about him, but I like watching him as a baseball player, but this card's just not worth it. Sell it. Carlos Gomez. This is a really nice card. It can defend 89 speed, solid hitting mix. I could I could buy it, especially at that price point. 77 too low for 11 mil. Again, sell him and try to get Diaz. Or, like, I'm not saying Diaz is the gold standard, sh standard of short stops. But, man, if you're more expensive and similar to Diaz or... Worse than Diaz and the same price or more expensive. I'm going to say sell them because you have to have a baseline somewhere. And no, if you can get a good player cheap, don't spend money on a good player. Or on a not as good player. Brandon Phillips. Uh, very well rounded at second base. See, I feel like you can sell him. Although, at that price point, it wouldn't be a bad keep. And, again, it depends on your team and your budget. Johnny Peralta, sell for sure because of that Diaz factor. Pedro Alvarez, honestly, he wouldn't be a bad third baseman for 10 mil. I would buy him if, if that's your budget. If you're above that budget, then by all means sell him. But, man, he could even slide in DH, be a good bench bat. Or you can play third base, because he's got solid defense, contacts, balance, and then that power. Wow, that's a surprisingly nice card. Jose Batista, man, this is just not... It's an underwhelming card, so I'd sell it. Carlos Beltran, that's even more disappointing. So Honestly, I'd sell Beltran to get Batista, but I'd still sell Batista and hold out for a better right fielder. Alan Craig... He's a first baseman, man. There's nothing good there. I would sell it. Honestly, most of these, yeah, all these bottom guys I'm pretty sure are sellers. Especially these catchers. There's good all-star catchers. Uh, not too expensive, but, you know, like from 2016. So all those catchers, RIP. Nelson Cruz, sell. Edwin Encarnacion, Man, that's before he came into his own. I'd sell that, too. And Chris Davis. Only 71 power. This is, like, the worst all-star card out there. Sell, sell, sell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you have ideas for why I should continue the series on, let me know. Certainly, um, as new card sets come out, the series will be revived. So let's say there's 2017 all-stars out. You'll get a couple videos on that. Those... I might even do the infield, outfield, starters, relievers. Because uh, there'd be more cards from that set. But that's all for this video. I'm G. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts on these players. A like if you've enjoyed this video and this series. Subscribe for more MLB Perfect and Live content. But until next time, and as always, peace out.